Thank you, sir, for allowing me this time to speak. Firstly, I'd like to applaud the government on the budget presented to us, a budget that is very growth-oriented, progressive, and inclusive. As per a 2020-2021 survey, the per capita income of the state is for, uh, 58,000, and the All India per capita income is 94,000. Looking at this, we know the importance of economic growth for the well-being of the people. The budget presented to us estimates an economic growth of 9%. In order to achieve this, the government has increased its government spending. Most importantly, its capital expenditure. The budget has emphasized a lot on agriculture with respect to its growth and improving its productivity with its various missions and its support to the farmers. With 80% population of the state being farmers, the higher growth in agriculture would definitely improve the livelihood of all these people. The detrimental aspect of the economic growth would be the development of physical infrastructure when it comes to roads, the administrative buildings that are proposed or the educational institutes that are being proposed. These infrastructure developments would help the economic growth and it would generate employment, which would further help in the economic development of the state as a whole. When coming to roads, uh, the other day there was a statement laid before the floor of the house regarding the amount of villages that are still unconnected by roads. In my constituency alone, there are around 41 villages that are still unconnected. There are 139 villages in my constituency and 130 of these villages are agricultural villages. So that constitutes to one third of the roads in which agriculture is the main occupation. So in all our efforts to generate employment, to encourage self-employment, I feel road is the most important aspect. Economically, it is not feasible to encourage farmers. The amount spent Unloading, unloading of goods is beyond what they get. A testament of a good road will, en will enhance business conditions. As you can see, uh, the present road from Seven Mile all the way to Nongstoin. As you can see in Lat Morang and in Mokria, business conditions have increased. So I joined my fellow colleague from Ranikor, from Mausun Ram, and from Mokarwat. And I'm happy to say that the Mopla Mausun Ram road has been allocated among the 800 crore project. So this is a road that is a backbone to many villages and the three constituencies that use this village, uh, that use this road, sorry. In all together, there are 341 villages that use this road. And among, amongst all, farming is the main. Uh, I, want to I want to suggest, with regards to the traffic, traffic congestion in the city, the development of a link road from Upper Shillong, Fifth Mile, to Light Core, and another link road from Umdingpun to Morai in order to ease the congestion in the city. 
When it comes to education, education is marginalized in the rural areas between the people who can afford and, between, and the people who cannot afford. There are instances where students support their own education. So it becomes financially not feasible for them to come to the city to gain, to complete the aspirations. So I urge the government, like all my colleagues have asked for rural colleges, in order to prevent urban migration. And moreover, rural education has not been on the rise. We can see that schools in rural areas are seasonal. Once monsoon comes, teaching becomes unteachable. So it's important that the sanction of 100 crore that has been produced in the budget be allocated for the renovations of these schools. And most importantly, the Mauplang Science and Commerce College, which was sanctioned in 2017, till date, it has come to a stand standstill where the construction has been stopped and the, <clears throat> the reasons for the standstill is not known. So I urge the minister in charge of the education as well to look into the matter. And lastly, I want to praise the Chief Minister for his emphasis on sports infrastructure. It will not only kickstart sports tourism in the state, but it will eventually create employment for a lot of people. <clears throat> but I urge the government of the day to develop more grassroots infrastructures because practically the big infrastructure, the stadiums, would not be accessible to everyone. It would be accessible to only the elite. Members, please wind up. Your time is up. Only the elite athletes. And for its upkeep, its maintenance costs would be very high. Uh, with this, uh, suggestions I give. I'd like to thank the government once again, and thank you, sir.